Yes, sir. I guess it's my turn. I like standing up and talking. I'm an old, old fashioned kind of guy, maybe, or modern guy. I'm not sure which it is, all right? Um, I guess I want to. We, I've been talking to Chief, okay? This year, we're gonna, in our, bu in our budget, we're gonna do uh, a police car with the regular budget. Then there's gonna be a second bar to government funds, to ARPA funds. But we also had come up with a new idea when I was sitting with Mr. Janito here, and then we, we contacted the Chief of Police, and they seemed to be in on it. Throughout the years, there's been a lot of money raised through DARE funds. Probably about 80, 90,000 sitting there. We also have this beautiful canine dog here. And the, uh, so what we're looking into, and it seems like it's probably could happen, Chief, that we could actually buy another police car that's used for deer funds, that's used for the kids. So uh, to, it, it, I think it's important to not just use that police dog for police work, but to teach the kids of our community to show them all the good things. And, and, and so far, I have to admit, your dear officer is doing that. But um, the, actually, the, the, the police dog came to me behind your back, Chief. He came to me to see me. And he had some complaints. Um, he's not forming a union yet, but he wants a little more food, a little better food. He wants a fundraiser for him from the community where he gets a little extra food. And uh, he, he said he wants to see the kids more in the community. So he, he's not going to look for another job. He's going to stay with us. But I'm going to ask you to, you know, just deal with the dare officer and, and the canine officer, and let's see what we can do to bring the, the dog around the kids. That, the dog came to me behind your back, I, but uh, he's allowed to come over your head to see the mayor, all right? Um, I also like to talk about we have other projects going on. Brookfield, who owns the, who bought the Novartis property, the old Novartis property, is, is planning on putting about a million one square foot buildings there, about three buildings buildings they're putting. One's going to be over 900 and something thousand square feet. That will bring in a lot of uh, more tax revenues for us. It'll also uh, bring in uh, building fees. It'll bring in water fees and sewer fees. It helps to take the load off all the taxpayers that we've been experienced for so long. Um, we, uh, it's in the planning. It's in the planning board's hands now. It, it was it was brought to us, but when they brought it to us, there was a few things wrong with it. And Terry Rice and uh, Mr. Magrino recognized it, so they had to fix a couple things. They fixed it, and and it's it's they're they're going to move ahead. And I would only I would only hope the planning board would not do things the same old way. That when something comes up, we have a meeting once a month. If we could then maybe say, okay, this month, oh, we'll do it next month, but we have a second meeting that month, so we move it along. If we can work together on these kind of things, we can get these projects going quicker, all right? We also have another project here, the, the Avon folks, which we, we are talking to, and I've had, had meetings, and I have actually, there's more meetings going on. We have a comprehensive plan going on in this great village. And that, that, that comprehensive plan will actually help these projects move quicker because we can put them into the comprehensive plan. The comprehensive plan, uh, it's the Nelson Pope, that's who's doing it right now, has been collecting all kinds of information. They've been checking the parking lot, checking all kinds of zoning. So th they're working on these things. So we're looking for rateables. We're looking to bring people in. We're looking to bring more families in, okay? We also have talked with the, the building department. I said, listen, my concern is that we, we do not let people buy houses and not overcrowd those houses. Because if a, certain, if a person buys a house, and then they, all of a sudden there's locks on bedroom doors, there's locks on basements, it doesn't, first of all, it's against all kinds of fire safety, but it also, it changes the, it changes the neighborhood, the quality of the neighborhood. Then, then a person who would pay 500000 for a house or family can't afford that house for $500,000 because the other person's paying five fifty, dollars And they're paying five fifty dollars because they're getting illegal rents. I will not accept that. I don't care if it's my cousin. I won't accept it. It's not going to happen in Suffolk, huh? I will show um, Mr. Sickle. It's another property that came. He came and sat down with me recently. He has over by the church there. He also has to, wants to put some you know, high-end uh, apartments in, you might say. But you know, I explained to him what some of the initial requests are. And, 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 and when he comes back with that initial request, because they need a zone change, I will then present it to the board. I don't have that as of yet to present to you, huh? So I don't, I'm not here to make those decisions. We make those decisions as a board. Um, 
We had our fundraiser uh, yesterday. It was a great, Kathy did, like I guess Kathy did a good job. All the, all, all the board members were there. Joe was working at the door. Melissa was working here. You know, Fred was running around taking pictures. Frank was eating from the buffet. We had a great time, okay? <laughs> Steve was there, you know, and, and, it, and it was, it was uh, Frank, next time only five plates, <laughs> okay? And, it, and it, it was a great time. This community, working together, on about a six, seven day notice, I was walking around my restaurant and I said, geez, I gotta do something here, I felt guilty. So I went on Facebook and I put out on Facebook, we raised, this community raised $15,000. $15,000, okay? Not by myself, it was a community effort. And we had some people that gave more and we had, you know, it doesn't usually happen, we had senior citizens running out there writing their checks for $10 and, you know, or $20. And then we had some other people, but we, we didn't do it as just, we didn't do it as a money, we didn't go on, or, or, you know, just send me your money. We gave them an event where we brought people together. We, and we gave them music and we gave them food and, you know what, and we gave them a good time. Because people, people are all over the United States, but I find especially suffering have big hearts and they really care about things. So I, I can go on and on, but I'm going to end here with that. But I have one more thing. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask the clerk to present the budget. The budget's done. We finalized it today. Um, I cannot take, uh, I'm not going to sit here and take all the credit for this. I sat down with the department heads. I sat down with Mike Junito, and I'm going to give most of the credit to Mike Junito. And I'm going to give it to Mr. So Mr. Soberman, who worked on the budget last year. And Joe Corrigan, who worked on the budget la last year. And Steve Alvin, who worked on the budget last year. I'm going to give them the credit that they, they, they're due. Right? I had to sit down and make decisions. But when you deal with Mike Junito, he's the best. There's no doubt about it, he's the best in the state. So it makes my life and job a little bit easier. But I, I'm going to, uh, you, you gave him the budget, I'm, I'm going to let everyone know I'm offering the Village of Suffern a 0% increase. There will be no increase in taxes in the Village of Suffern this year. That's, what, that's our plan. It's in our budget. Okay? We're moving ahead. Okay? Now, I, now I still expect these rateables. And I'm going to work with these people here to get them in quicker. And I'm going I'm to ask the planning board. And I'm going to ask the ZBA. Huh? I left everyone in place. I didn't run a political machine here. I left everyone on that board that wanted to be on that board because I want you here for suffering. I don't, I don't, it, I want you here for suffering. I thank you, Mr. Gino, I thank you for your hard work. I thank all the department head for your hard work. And uh, I guess we'll sit down, we'll probably be closing this meeting, we'll all have a good time soon, right? <laughs>